God. Hi, Panda Wandas. Today I'm going to be doing a build battle with Uni. Hey, guys, that's me. She's going to be building on her plot while I build on mine. Because of the new Bloxburg update, we're going to be building a campsite. Let's get to it. Are you ready, y'all? Yes! Of course! Me too! Woohoo! Let's go! I'm going to be first starting off with a cabin. I felt like this was going to be too big and I wasn't sure what to put in, so I made it a little bit smaller. We also needed a functional kitchen because what if, I don't know, you want to cook at night? So I just added in some simple little decoration for it. Over here will be a very small bathroom. Throughout this whole build, I really wanted to keep this wood theme to it, so I pretty much added everything as texture to wood or something like it. Okay, now do you see that tree stump? That is literally one of my favorite things. You know what, this camping update is amazing, to be honest. That's why I felt super inspired just to go on and build, even though it was just let out July 4th.
At this point, I had no idea what to do. I just added a tent. I was outlining for a lake. Then I was like, oh, what do I do now? I got some plants and more tents. Just put them down randomly. Then I thought of the idea, wait, what if I build an RV? So I did my best. Yes, I know it looked pretty bad, but the inside was really cozy, to be honest. And the plus side, you can also ride your car out of this. It doesn't have to stay to the building. Over here, I'm creating a driver's seat since the car was sticking into the RV, the inside. I decided to make my very own seating area. I tried my best with some couches and then I outlined with some tables. I didn't think it would turn out pretty good. To be honest, you it looks like you're sinking into the ground and you can be the driver in it. And the seats are actually functional. For everything to blend in and look good, I colored it all gray and then the seats, I added a little bit of white for the pillows to stand out and make sure you know it's like a driver's seat and a passenger seat. This space was really cramped so I decided to put one bed in that area and then it's going to have a ladder going up to a second floor which I will also put in another bed and turn it into a sleeping bag because I love the sleeping bags too and how you can actually sleep in them and then the left side of the downstairs will be a bathroom.
to make it cozy and homey, I decided to combine two sofas, which you need to listen and check for. And then I made a table and a little kitchen with a mini fridge. Yes, I adore the mini fridge. I never had one and it was the cutest thing ever. To make it look more realistic, I added in those wheels and made them kind of look real, I guess. I also added in smoke to make it look like the RV was actually working. Now I'm going to be building a bigger cabin since I wanted a cabin with a loft, because what if it's a big family home? I also kind of thought, I don't want the floor just to be wood, so I added in some like really dark brick, red and it looked amazing, in my opinion, of course. Over here, I wanted a microwave to go into like the cabinets, so I added in a shelf and sunk it down. To give it an old fashioned looking type, I added in some wheels and a windmill. Over here will be a dining area with a sofa and three chairs. I finally wanted to take a break from the cabins and I felt like building my huge lake for this campsite. So of course that's what I did. And if you perhaps rebuild this, it doesn't have to be this big because yes, I know the lake does cost a lot of money and it takes away, but the end result looks awesome with it.
while doing the rocks I got bored and some fans were asking for screenies so I came out and gave them some. Thank you so much for watching me guys and supporting me. To make it more natural looking, I added in some plants and a lot of mud to make it look like really realistic. Now I feel like this part is going to be in the video with the odd high pitched voice. I can stop Panda from the house! Thanks Vince for the idea, you gave it yourself, didn't you? And now time for some trees! There was this person in chat who was saying things that shouldn't be said for all of those who continue to enjoy the video. I blocked some things out, but I'm sorry if you see any more of it. I hope you still enjoy. Okay, now enough about that. Do you not see these fairy lights? This is actually what I've been wanting this whole time I have been in Bloxburg. Literally my dream come true. You extend it and it comes with you, like the lights keep going. Now, instead of me rambling about it, you can see at the end of the video, I add so many because I love them so much. It gives personality, uniqueness, and I'll stop talking for now because my voice is really cringy. Okay, now it's time to build the bathroom. We needed a way to shower because I mean like this is a campsite so I added in some showers, toilets of course and also some sinks, average bathroom stuff and I separated into women's and men's side for privacy of course. This is the voiceover panda, um, it's actually average not average or however you pronounce it, I don't know how you did that but okay then. And take a look at all these people dancing, because why not? You also need those privacy blinds, so I added them pretty much everywhere in the bathrooms. I also made the bathrooms pretty identical, so if you would like to rebuild this and change that up, go right ahead. I'm not stopping you. Mira, mira, on the wall, who's the greatest of them all? Okay, I'm sorry, I had to do that. Yes, you guessed it, it is voiceover panda again. Um, I am very sorry for those voice cracks, I did them on purpose. My voice does not crack that much, but it does, so that's great, let's go.
And before everyone comments down in the section, the bathrooms are really gray. Yes, I know. I made them really gray. Thank you very much for noticing. Yeah, 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 I get it, I know, I know. You must be thinking to yourself, why is she putting microwaves in the bathroom? Okay, so I thought it would be a really cool idea if I made them as like hand dryers, you know, those things that you put your hands in and it dries your hands when you're anywhere. Okay, doesn't really look like it, but I kept it because it looked cool. And guess what, you can also cook food in there. <laughs> Since I also really love these lights, I decided to put them in and include them. And again, with these lights, I'm absolutely obsessed. You can tell that. Oh no, that's way too much. I'm giving you back 40k of it. You keep it, you worked hard for it. I feel bad taking your money. Thank you for everyone who donated, to be honest. You guys are amazing. I can't believe you go and do hard work and then give it all to me. I really appreciate it, but you should keep your money. I can also work like you guys do. And now, I felt like this is technically the woods, so we need lots of trees. Why not just spend tons of money on it? Perfect. I also added a front yard to the cabin to give it shape, and it gave it shape. Perfect. <laughs> And I was really excited for this loft. I came back to it and I decided I wanted some sleeping bags because what if you wanted to sleep over? Yes, I know sleepovers are campsites or you just have four kids. Pretty awesome though. And to top it off, you need some of these new and exclusive lanterns! And also some toys, of course. What if the kids got really bored at the campsite? I mean like, outdoors, yay! No electronics! So I added in a really small TV with some chairs imitating bean bags.
Over here will be a parents room I added in the desk. Not really much decoration, but it looked pretty cabiny if that's even a word. I also thought this picnic layout was pretty adorable so I use it in their backyard. Putting the picnic table was one of the greatest ideas I had made. I put lots of stairs to try and make like a dirt hill going up to like an eating place. Not a restaurant but like picnic area, grilling area, other areas. Great! As I was building, Holiday said she had a surprise for me and take a look at how cute these ID codes are. She had one saying the panda girl in recording and the other one saying the panda girl and I actually used them and inputted them instead of my sign. Thank you so much Holiday, I love it. And I also wanted to make some smaller cabins for like a couple or just like one person to rent. So I added in a tiny bathroom, a bedroom, a kitchen area, and that's pretty much it. I made both identical, so it would be pretty cool. I wanted also some mirrors, but then I'm like, ooh, I love these lights. What if I just add them randomly? Then I just outlined them in and put them as texture to wood. I like this invention. What about you? As I said, now I'm going to just pretty much copy what I did in the first cabin, making it identical.
And now it's time for the huge thing. I added lots of fireplaces. That's one reason why my bills are so expensive. And I also added campfire. Well, this is a campfire bonfire, same thing. Okay, and for some reason, I decided to add pillars and ladders. I don't know, I wanted to, to look like the fire was coming up, but it didn't turn out that way, so I just turned them into stone. And now, of course, you need the typical log chairs or seats, and that's what I added in, and also the little trunks of the tree. And now for some more trees! I added some more tents because I really love the way they look and made like a private area for like one family, added a cooler picnic table, all those stuff and made it cool! I also thought this was a perfect space to fish even though you can't really fish but that's why I made those seats over there. And now I decided to make a dirt path pretty much going everywhere except those hidden areas with the tents. To add some differences, I decided to color in the tents different colors and make them look unique because tents can be unique, you know? This is where I'm going to be adding like the camping sign and the picnic sign or the food area and I, uh, yeah! To like finish it off I added some, not some, lots of trees and I also put in some roofs and lighting to all the places that needed some more.
I know these lights weren't necessary, but I'm that obsessed that I added them pretty much everywhere you go. So that's pretty much it. Time for the tours.
is this only seven thousand dollars like mine was 400k and look how amazing it is <gasps> Bye, Uni. Remember to leave a comment and tell me which build you like better. Thank you so much for watching and check out Uni's channel. Her channel is literally her username. I I I Unicorn Swag. She just started, so come on, help her out. Maybe she'll reach a hundred subscribers soon. If you enjoyed this video, click that subscribe button to be part of the Panda Wanda Habitat and click that bell to be notified of when I post. Could you be the first to comment? Panda Girl is out. Thanks for watching. Bye!